Hey everyone, this is another book that I love. This book is called Little Dog Lost, the true story of a brave dog named Baltic. This dog is named Baltic, and this is a brave dog, and this is a true story. So this is nonfiction. That means that this is a story about a dog that um, was a real dog and about something that really happened. This story is written by Monica Carnesi. And here's a map that shows you where this happened. This is the Baltic Sea near, this is near Poland, which is a country, country across the ocean. So I'm gonna move closer. On a very cold day during a very cold winter, sheets of ice float on the Vistula River and out toward the Baltic Sea. See this river? It has pieces of ice on top of the water because it's winter. So we're in spring now, but I'm still reading you this book about winter. Here's the river. Something is moving in the water. What is it? Is it a bird? No. A fish? No. See if you can see where there's something on the river that's not ice and not water. Anyone see it? Give you a hint, it's over here. You see right here? Right there. It's a dog. A little dog is adrift on the ice. Can anybody help? Please help dog. The firefighters come to help. Here they come. They go into the river trying to reach dog. Here they are, they have a big rope and they're trying to get out to the dog. But the river flows too fast. The little dog floats away with the current past the people and past the building. Dog leaves everyone behind. There he goes, he's floating away from the people. See him? Night comes and goes. Sorry, I have a cat climbing into a bag. Night comes and goes, comes and goes. Dog's thick fur keeps him warm, but dog is wet and tired and hungry and he is scared. Don't be scared, dog. A ship is coming. <gasps> Look, there's a ship coming out on the ice. The crew sees something on the ice. Is it a seal? No, it has four legs, ears, and a tail. It's a dog. Let's help him. The crew pulls out a big net on a pole. Jump in, dog. Jump. Hmm. Is the dog going to jump? But dog slips. He falls into the water. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. Where is dog? Can you see? You can see his little paws right there holding onto the ice. Oh, my goodness. There he is. Dog climbs back onto the ice. The crew lowers a small boat into the icy water. A seaman climbs in and paddles towards the dog. He gets closer and closer. And then he saves dog. Look at that. What an adventure. Quick, get towels. Quick, get blankets. The whole crew helps dog. Is dog okay? Dog is so weak and so tired, he can barely move. Finally, dog is warm. Finally, dog is dry. He eats and falls asleep, safe at last aboard the ship. When dog wakes up, he looks for the people who saved him. He's looking for the people who saved him. They are eating breakfast. Everyone is happy to see dog awake. They give dog a sausage. Dog finds the man who pulled him out of the water. Dog puts his nose on his lap. That's how he says thank you.
See, he's putting his nose on the lap. You're welcome, dog. You're welcome, Baltic. That's it. That's what we'll call you. And that's how a brave little dog got his name and his new home. Join the crew, Baltic. Looks like Baltic the dog is now part of the crew that sails this ship. That is the end. And here at the very end, you can see a picture of the man that saved Baltic. And this is Baltic, the real dog, a photograph. So in the book, we had drawings of Baltic, right? The drawings of Baltic are called illustrations. At the end, we see a photograph of Baltic. And this is actually a, a picture made with a camera. So I love this story. I love that it's a story about humans helping animals and animals appreciating humans and um, stories that have happy endings. So I hope you enjoyed. Bye.